Each week as you enter this timeless land, one of these many worlds will open to you. Frontierland. Tall tales and true from the legendary past. Tomorrowland. Promise of things to come. Adventureland. The wonder world of nature's own realm. Fantasyland, the happiest kingdom of them all. And he made the trails, opened up the land. And he gave America a mighty helping hand. And he's on the move, and he won't rest. And he burned that he's a traveling west. And now your host, Walt Disney. We have previously brought you two adventures from Stuart Edward White's great story, The Saga of Andy Burnett. As I told you some weeks ago, this story is in a very large sense the same story these old maps tell, the too often overlooked real story of the American frontier. But it is Andy's story too, and our Andy is a very real and human young man, as you will see now in the third of our first group of three adventures from The Saga of Andy Burnett. The story of Andy's love affair. Andy's on the move, Andy won't press. Andy burns that he's the traveling west. He took the trail to Santa Fe to open up the safest way. So good could go to the Spanish there with trade and free and prices fair. The trail was long and the desert hot. And many do fear what he did not. Danger and dust and honest sweat were part of the saga of Andy Burnett. And he made the trails, opened up the land. And he gave America a mighty helping hand. And he's on the move, and he won't rest. And he burned that he's a traveling I didn't think we would ever see water again. <sighs> that shortcut of yours was the driest trail I ever saw. Sure is tolerable poor country for rain, all right. <sighs> well, green goings from here on into Saturday, anyway. I sure do hope so. <sighs> hey, where you going, Andy? Somebody's got to make camp. Not here, they don't. Oh, what's wrong with this? Seems like a likely place. It's just it. Them Spanish border patrols be watching these water holes like hawks. Ah, we won't have any trouble with the Spanish. Senator Benton's letter to their governor get us through. Or get us hung. Them Spanish soldiers may not be much to look at, but when they seize their duty, they does it. And they may not take time out to read no letter first. Let's fill our water bags and get out of here. Uh-uh. Too late. Sure are running the greenhorn luck. Hold it, Andy. Watch them close, but don't rile them until we see which way their stick floats. In el nombre de su excelencia el gobernador, les ordeno que se marchan de México al instante. He says we gotta go back. Well, tell him where he can go. Hey, hold on there, fancy pants. Capitán Reyes, yo me encargo del asunto. Dime, coronel. Calma, Capitán. Un poco de paciencia. Sí. Bueno, está bien. Always you are too hasty. Now, señores, the state your business on this side of the border, if you please. We're bringing a letter to your governor from Senator Benton. 
Ah, yes, the senator. I have heard of him. An important man in your government. A mighty important man. And this, uh, this letter, it is important also. Hmm? Well, the senator thinks it is. Yes. But will the governor also think so? Well, I don't know till he's read it. Mm, yes. An awkward circumstance, no? It might be a sight more awkward if your boys point any more guns at us. They only do their duty. Yankees are not permitted in New Mexico. Looks like we're already here. And I am obliged to place you under arrest. Arrest? Us? With them? Huh! Senor, you just try it. Now, shut up, Joe. Now, what about this letter? I will see that it reaches His Excellency. You see, I promised to deliver it in person in Santa Fe. That's what I'm going to do. Oh. Uh, perhaps uh, I could escort one of you to Santa Fe. What about the lot of us? So many Yankees, senor, would cause talk, much talk. Perhaps Senator Benton would not like that. Uh, he wouldn't like it at all. Neither would your governor. Then it is all arranged. Capitan Reyes, you with six men will take these three to Taos. You will keep them there until His Excellency makes up his mind what is to be done. I, with four men, will take this one to Santa Fe. I will see to it, mi coronel. Just a minute. You ain't splitting us up. Not today, you ain't. Easy now, boys. The colonel's talking sense. His letter's supposed to be secret. You go with the captain into Taos. I can do better in Santa Fe alone. They'll throw you in jail and throw away the key. Well, then you'll just have to come and get me out. After we bust ourselves out, I suppose. Andy, it'll be up to you to keep this bunch of wild-eyed hibernants from getting restless till I get back. Sure you'll be all right? I'll be back within a few days, ready to hit north for those mountains you're itching to see. All right. Go ahead. Lone-handed if you want to. Best-looking girls this side of California live in Taos. Rather look at them any day than that old ugly horse face of yours. <laughs> Come on, soldier boy. Let's get this posse are on the move. Bueno. A montar! That means get on your horses. your eye. He can wait. Look how he struts. But the Yankee, the young one, so strong, so handsome. Ay, que sinvergüenza eres. The Capitan, you make trouble for him even before he is off his horse. Trouble she's good for Paco. Tonight, I like the Yankee. Oh. Yankees? El Alcalde. Senores. The old fella's the mayor or the judge or something. Judge? Yeah, the old bull buffalo of this here place. Vengan conmigo, senores. Well, they can't do anything more than hang us. Estrellita. Mio Estrellita. What is the matter? You kissed me goodbye when I left. You have been gone a long time. Only a week. A woman can change her mind, no? Hello, young 
Auntie. Una estrellita. Ay, qué muchacha esa. Estrellita, hija. Ah. If I was younger, you and me'd be at it hammering tongs over that this minute, boy. God wolf the winner. <laughs> boy, the alcalde even. Ten hell Mary just a noche before you go to bed. For us, he says. Carousel? Uh, what's another word for jail? I ain't sure. Try calabozo. Calabozo? No, no, senores. Es su casa. Our house. How do you like that? I don't trust her. Me and Andy will hold the door. You go in and look her over. <laughs> but there's a fire and plenty of water and a bar for the door. And them windows will hold a rifle right handy. Well, we can stand off a small army in there if they try to start anything. Well, we'll wait them out and see what happens. Andy, you hold them off. We go inside and get the bar set. All set. Come on. Ah, Yankee pigs. Están muy locos. Sí, sí, sí. Oye, Tina. Sí, sí, María, venga, acá. Sí, sí. Los yankees deben de tener mucha hambre. Vaya, tú encárgate a los pilaritos. What are you after now? Sí, sí. The old giving up all the women and sending them off. Sure sign there'll be some shooting. Seems like, but I don't see no good of it. No wonder Kelly told me to look after you, too. <laughs> you don't even know what's eating you. What are you talking about? You recollect that case of... Buck fever I got first time we saw Buffalo. Well, that's what's eating you two. Buck fever. Just too much civilization here for you. <laughs> These folks don't mean us any harm. Fact is, they're treating us as hospitable as they know how. You're being took in, boy. That gal winking at you and all. Why, this is a foreign country. And it just don't do to trust no foreigners. No sense in hurting their feelings. It ain't their feelings I'm afraid for. It's my feelings I'm afraid for. Now, the thing to do is to stay folded up here till they show their hands good and plain. Andy, you mind your betters till you get the hang of this here country. All right, all right. Just just how long you two hibernants figure on staying holed up in here? Well, that all depends on me and me out there. Maybe till Kelly shows up, or we get word. We've got enough water here to last us a week or so. If you quit wasting it, what about our packs and the horses? They steal them off on us. They'll steal them back when we bust out of here. All figured out, huh? Man can't live in the mountains unless he figures everything. Well, I'm getting kind of hungry. Just, uh, what do you two figure on doing about that for the next week? Prisoners? Prisoners? The Alcalde says they are our guests and are to be treated so. The old one is a fool. Better they were in irons. Or is the food ready? We will take it over to them. Do not trouble yourself. When it is, we will take it. You? Serving those foreign pigs? I forbid it. Listen to him. Do you think I am one of your stupid soldados to be ordered about as you please? I will show you who gives orders in this house. Out! Get out now!
quiet, ain't it? It's a doggone quiet, Kelly. You ought to hear my stomach rumbling clear down to Santa Fe. They're fixing to starve us down to their size. I might have known it. What do you keep looking at that feather for? Because it reminds me of the biggest, fattest, juiciest, tenderest turkey I ever seen. Oh, shut up. <laughs> I used to get like this back home sometimes. So quiet. Couldn't hear nothing but my grandmother out in the kitchen frying up supper victuals. Grits and cracklings and slabs of country ham. <laughs> Andy, so help me. You mention one war word about food and I'll feed you my fist clean up to my elbow. <laughs> Bill, take that window. Andy, open the door. Buenas, señores. Con la amistad de todo el pueblo. Pase. Un momento, señor. Eso no es todo. Tráigale comida. Something ain't none of your affairs. Sit down. Me. I like to. Sit down, boy. Remember, this is their grub region. Cross. Sí, vámonos. Vámonos. Perdonen, los señores. Lo siento mucho. Con su permiso. Sí, Con sí. 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 Sí, sonar. Sí, sonar. The first class glove in it. Do you hear me, Andy? What's eating you, boy? Well, nothing. Well, next time you go wandering off like that, I wish you'd take your carcass with you. Sure as a nuisance having around here when you ain't in it. Sorry, Joe. I was just thinking. Well, I'll try eating something for a change, the better for you. Ah. Oh. 
Thunderation, Andy. She ain't the only pretty gal in this little old town. She's pretty enough for me. Reckon I gotta learn you some of the facts of life, boy. Women. Women are just like bufflers. He's always a fat one, just over yonder. I'll save the fat ones for you, Joe. Well, it ain't fitting for a young like you to be passing up his vittles this way. I'm all right. All right? Huh. Well, I've had berry fellers that wasn't as bad took as you. Women and the like ain't for us mountain men, boy. Why, we ain't got time for such poop for all. <laughs> Bill, you know a mite of Spanish. Learn me something I can say. To her? Yeah, something kind of, kind of flattering. Flattering, huh? Yeah, you know, kind of admiring like. Uh, su padre es un cochino. Su padre es un cochino? Yep. Su padre es. Cochino. That's, that's kind of pretty, ain't it? Bill, what's that mean? Your paw's a pig. <laughs> Keep on scraping your hide that way every day or so, and you ain't gonna have no face left at all. Still won't be as bad as you two. Well, I figured it's about time you started showing your whiskers if you got any. Buenas tardes, señores. Howdy. Come on in. Sure, sure. Sit down, senor, and have some grub. Uh, gracias, no. Tonight we make for you a dance. You come? Dance? she be there? She, senor? Uh, the senorita? Creo que sí. All the senoritas. Come on. What are we waiting for? You ain't dragging me off to no dance. Oh, come on now. A little sash ain't, ain't gonna do you no harm. Besides, these fandangos is really something once they get to going. Anyway, we ain't got no choice. Gotta take care of Andy, don't we? Keep him out of trouble. Yes, sir, we'll be there, senor. Yes, sir, we'll be there. Muy bien. Hasta luego. Here at is my dancing slippers.
ordeno. ¿Quién te crees que tú eres dándome órdenes? Te lo ordeno. Yo haré lo que yo quiera. Toquen, por favor. <risa> Short manners, ain't they? Yeah, it appears as how the custom here is to grab first and ask later. How about wetting our whistles? Hey, you plume talk me into it. Andy, we're gonna have a little snort. Coming? Here, stop. <laughs> That's our diente, senor. Our diente must be some kind of cider, I reckon. Wouldn't do for us to do no liquorizing after they invite us to their party and everything. Uh, Garcia, uh, senorita. Gracious. Garcia, uh, senorita. Uh, the apples that made this here cider must have come off a cactus bush for sure. And they didn't bother to cut the stickers off none either. <laughs> Garcia's, uh, senorita. This here cider sure shines. Sure, but that there music don't. Ain't hardly fitting for a good lively funeral. Let's get to some real dancing. Set your spurs and let her buck. I'm a curly old wolf and it's my night to howl. <laughs> Faster. What's the word for fast? Ondele, ondele pronto. Ondele, ondele pronto.
hold on, you. Where'd she go? What's her name? What's her name? Estrellito. Nice going, boy. Yes, Estrellito. Hey, he's fading fast. Sassafras and sulfur tea, that's what he needs. Let's get him home in a hurry. I thought maybe the governor had you hung for this time. <laughs> We're heroes in Santa Fe. Too bad you missed it. What do you mean, heroes? Well, the governor liked the proposition in Senator Benton's letter. Everybody down here thinks we should establish trade with St. Louis. There's got to be a road before they can be trade. For sure, but I sent a map to the senator. You know, I got a hunch that that shortcut of yours and Joe's is going to turn into the Santa Fe Trail. You mean our little chore down here is finished? Got the money right here. And we can get out of here? Anytime. Boy, it's not a minute too soon. We've sure had ourselves a time the last couple of days. <laughs> so Joe is telling me. Now, don't worry, we'll have him on his feet in no time. I ain't so sure about that. A woman is worse than a snake bite any time. Especially the first time you get bit. Yeah, what do two old hibernants like you know about woman trouble? Uh, old Bill there, he's brewing up some of his special mountain tonic. That ought to cure him. Yeah, or kill him. You leave this to me. Howdy, Andy. Good news, boy. We're headed for the mountains tomorrow morning. The mountains, do you hear me? Oh, now, confound it, Burnett. When I speak to a man, I expect an answer. Jack, I thought you would never get back. Joe and old Bill just, just ain't no use at all. Well, um, that's what seems to be the trouble. Come here. You see, there's this girl down no. here. No, no, no. Andy. Look, let's just get at this right. We took your green, didn't we? You agreed it was up to us to teach you how to, how to set your traps and, uh, and to keep your hair, didn't you? Naturally, but what's that got to do with it? And you know that, uh, that we're your friends, don't you? Yeah, well, you gotta take our word for it. We're getting you out of here tomorrow morning before you get mixed up in almost the worst thing that a man can come across. What do you mean? Women. 
but this one here likes me, I think. Oh, nah, just because she she winks a little at you and sort of flops her skirt in your direction. It doesn't mean a thing, Andy. I've seen them do it when they're married and have six children. They can't help it. It's just the way they're built. Andy, you know how we smear trample over with buffalo brains and bear grease and beaver bait? Well, that's just to get you close enough, boy, so the iron can grab hold of you. Ain't that so, Bill? That's right, son. She's probably already got her own man all picked out. But she's got to make as many more miserable as she possibly can. Now, you, uh, you just turn in now and get a good night's rest. We'll be pulling out of here first thing tomorrow morning. Look, it may be tough for a couple of days, but you'll find yourself back on your feet in fine style before we're a week into the hills. Jack. Yeah? You savvy Spanish, don't you? Well, some. What does Estralita mean? All right, boys, this calls for strong medicine, plenty of it. Brad and Joe. Pero que mala eres, muchacha. You are a troublemaker. Why you treat the Yankees so? For the fun. Oh, he is so big, and he has suffered so much. <laughs> Captain Race will kill him. See then what fun. Oh, Paco, he makes too much jealous. It is good for a man to have a sweetheart who flirts a little with other men. <gasps> Wait a minute, boy. I ain't talking to you. You can't hold last night again us forever. And we ain't gonna wait on you forever, neither. It'll be sundown in an hour. Are you clearing out with us, or aren't you? Not until I see her. Well, you've been hammering her doorway all day. Can't you get her through that thick skull of yours she don't want no part of? You? We tried to tell you she's just a leading you on for the devil of it. The old Caldy said she's promised to that young captain. Can't you let be? Not until she tells me herself. Uh, well, there ain't no woman worth missing the mountains for. I gotta see her, I tell you. I'm staying. Well, suit yourself. Go on and stay. But we've had enough. We're clearing out. Andy, we can't get very far tonight, most likely. If you change your mind, you just head north and look for our campfires. Estralita? Estralita? Awake! What's wrong with you? 
I just want to talk to you for a minute. Uh, sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Now, why didn't you answer the door when I came to see you? Oh, maybe you're mad about that little ruckus I caused the other night, huh? It was nice of you folks to give that party for us and all. I didn't mean to make a fool of myself. Something sort of come over me. Okay. Look, you do understand what I'm trying to say, don't you? English? Uh, you, you speak English? English? Yeah. No comprendo. Oh, just, just a little. You sure? Well, in that case, what I really wanted to say is I think you're pretty, real pretty. Yes, sir, I sure do. In Espanol. I can't. But uh, there sure is one word I'd like to learn. What do you call that in your lingo? We call him un besito. Pues quién sabe. ¿Dónde está? ¿Está Paco aquí? Black-haired buzzards, if I ever get out of this, I'll take on you and your whole town at once. <laughs> you. Now, Jess, who did you aim to take on? <laughs> you came back after me. Well, I ain't never run out no partner yet. You'd have been eating beans and tortillas the rest of your life we hadn't, huh? You don't think we'd let anything in skirts stand between you and what you're meant to be? There's your mountains, boy. Looks like I'm beholden to you again. But you've had yourself a time of it, looks like. How many of that captain's friends did you have to drag off of me anyways? What is it them that jumped you, boy? It was us. They beat us the minute we showed up. How about that shiner and that split lip? What do you think? Me? <laughs> oh, 
I gotta go back. Great jump at your horse, man. Ain't you been cured yet? My gun, the Boone rifle, I left it in tiles. Now go on ahead, leave the trail marked for me. I'll catch up with you. I gotta get that gun back. Uh, you really mean that, don't you, boy? Try and stop me and you find out. All right, just a minute. I'll hold your horse. There you be, boy. I reckon you're fit to be trusted with her again. Maybe she'll forgive you for going off and leaving her like that. Next time, keep her by your side. Somebody dishonest might pick her up. Hardly anything I can say, is there? Yeah, well, don't try. He kept us away from those peaks yonder long enough. There's a wind that blows in the open west. And where it goes, the hawk knows best. He flies the wind, his wings are free. He knows the wind, and so do we. Blow the wind from the mountain, ladies proud and high. Blow the wind from the mountain, ladies in the sky. No lover ever had a sweeter Burn that he's a traveling way. 